Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Chef here John Morris again man presenting to you another kitchen tip. This particular video is about how to remove those tough grease stains from your non-stick baking tray without getting a scratch on them. Yeah man, I nah, eh? We know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. bully beef, yeah. chicken foot, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing a waste, nothing a dash way. So imagine buying your brand new non-stick tray and it end up looking like this after a few uses. It's frustrating. It's not necessarily that like a person is quote unquote nasty or they're filthy when you see their cookery looking a certain way. But those grease stains are so tough and hard to get rid of. Especially if they're non-stick. You don't want to have those scratch marks on your non-stick pans. I've had that struggle myself and I've tried so many different methods. And I'm proud to say I've finally found a method that works for me and I know it will work for you. Now this particular pan, you'll notice that there are scratches on it. These were previous scratches before I learned how to remove the stains without scratching the non-stick pan. So you'll see a few scratches on mine, but I guarantee you if you buy a fresh one and it gets stained, you can remove the stains without scratching yours. So without further ado, wow, let me show you what I want. So there you have it, you washed it, this is nice and clean. But a person coming into your home or seeing you having this tray will say, wow, look how dirty the tray is. This is very clean. It's just that it's a non-stick and you wash it so many times, there's no dirt particles on you. You wash it thoroughly, but it's just stained. You want to ensure that this is dry, all right? And you don't have to wash yours first. I'm just demonstrating to you that it's not actually dirty, it's just stained, right? So that's why I got it washed. So that's nice and dry. So you want to ensure that you put on some latex gloves because you're going to be dealing with chemical here, right? And you don't want to damage your skin. Now I'm going to apply my cleaning agent, which I'll show you what it is at the end of this video. And you'll be surprised. It's something that you have in your household but probably you never thought of using this, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add that on there. We gave that a generous coating of our cleaning agent, right? On both sides. We're gonna allow that to sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. The longer it sits, the better and easier it is to remove. So now it's been 45 minutes since it's been sitting. And let me show you how easily we remove these things. So again, get your set of gloves on. Get ourselves some soap. I want to show you how simple this comes off. Look at that. All this time, I've been struggling to get my pants cleaned. And look at that, how oh, simple. Wow, this is just a wow factor, right? All oh, that grime on my pants. So let's wash this up. Because it's so stained, you're gonna have to go in with a second coating to get it nice and shiny. Alright? Dry that off again. And what did I use? Easy off oven cleaner. And trust me, it works. It doesn't matter the brand that you have. So just read your label for all the safety precautions and I guarantee you the best results of moving this hard on grease from your non-stick pan without damaging them. Can I 
add some more soap on here to just get it a bit cleaner. Here you have it, just gonna rinse this off and show you what it looks like. It's way better than it was before. This is a very old band, hence it's taking a longer time to get that shine. But with the comparison of what it was before, I'd say pretty good technique. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share this to your friends and family and let it help someone else. Once again, thank you very much for watching and for more videos like these, head on over to our channel. If you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos like these. Until next time, see if travel upon the gravel and go and big up on yourself. See you dinner for later. But know you're fast, girl, you never tell me. Cause I know any, any man can feed you. So that's why you always take me to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah.